Action. Brocko, no sir. Get that puck up. They never pass to me. Can we get a count? Is it, if there's somebody keeping track of all the times I've been tapping my stick and there's nothing. They're not passing to me one time. Three shots, four shots. They still have the puck because of two turnovers. Two turnovers. Two turnovers. The Brinkett. I'm the one that you're talking to. You allowed all these players to go into the locker room. And as soon as you see me, you hold me up in the hallway and saying, we're not exactly shutting them down by letting them create lots of chances. Coach, the team sucks. Let's go. Okay, we're back. And it's a crazy game right now. 4-4 game. And we're on the PK as well. I also have a chance to break the rookie records for goals for the LA Kings. The franchise record. Can't get that. Looking out in front. Back to the point. Barry in front. Nice stick. Defenseman play. Drew Doughty. All right, I'm going to go off for a line change. We we just need to start shooting the puck more, man. We can't be trying to set up these one-timers. That's, that's what was killing us last time. As I was doing this on stream before. We lost two games in a row. Because we just weren't shooting the puck. We were down but also by two goals in each game. So not a very good spot. We're in a better spot now. But we got to capitalize on it. Mata, get that up. All right, there we go. Easy across crease there for Brandon Saad. 5-4 game. Excellent. We, we, we got we to gotta capitalize on those chances. Take those every, every chance we get. That was a great shot. Uh, it was a great feed. By Mata, who gets up to me. And then I get in a backhand pass over to Brandon Saad. That's why I always try to get by. I try to go quicker than the defenseman because he's basically trying to cover Mata from taking it to the outside. I go with speed, undercut him basically, or even overcut him on the other side. And that's how I get like another good chance here. I could have passed that. Looking out in front, Kopitar. And now we're getting many chances on this team right now. Barkoff. The kid did, he delivered all the apples. Oh, that, oh that's a franchise record. Pick a stick on social media. I guess I broke the uh, assist record now as well. I think I'm supposed to break the goals record though, right? I think that's what it was, yeah. That was the challenge by the reporter. But I did it anyway. I was able to break. I had, I mean, was, I'm breaking every record. Is it just for LA or is this for all time? I'm not even sure. Get that up. So yeah, just get it out, right? That was a slow shot, but it got the job done. That's all you need. It's Gunderson. Is that Gunderson? Or was that somebody else I was thinking of? Gustafson, maybe? Oh, look at that. Wide open. Tie game. Bad on the PK that time. Joe Thornton on the Florida Panthers. What else is new? So let's see what our defensemen were doing. They weren't they weren't doing very well there. I mean, number three, that's your man. Oh, actually. He had a another guy who came in. That's the that's the problem with the uh with the PK, I mean, you really can't cover. Everybody's got their own spots, right? Their own zones. You got two guys in one zone. It's kind of tough. He was tied up with, him, with the guy in front. And then Thornton came from the outside. And then that's how he was wide open. Good steal. Get that up. Kopitar. Mob my pitcher center position. I'm going to take that, maybe. Physical play. Send it to the net. Can't get anything out of that. Nice. Mata gets it up. Do you, well, somehow, if you had enough patience, you could actually backhand feed that to me as I was driving in. I would have drove in late, though, but you would have, you had enough patience. I think that was an option. Here comes Saad. Can't get anything going on that left side. Why is it that our guys are just kind of holding it? Like, they're not even skating. They're just, like, waiting for the hit to happen, and then they get nudged. Like, move a little bit, you know? I had to cover the wide-open ch chance. I'm covering that shot. spot. Saad trying to dangle in. But no shot is recorded. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. We need to get more shots. Not getting much. You see how Saad came in? He didn't take a shot, though. That's the problem. Take shots. We need shots. Shots can trickle through. Can create rebounds. We need that right now. Barkov, two, two one-touch deeks right there. He ain't getting this pass back to him. Back to the point now. Blast. Yeah, that's right. Get a block in front. Good block there by Marcellus. Dowdy. We, we got to win these battles in the corner. Yep. Sauce that up. Almost had that for Saad. He had to kind of reach back for that. 
be a physical, but I couldn't get it. And the guy somehow goes around me. Every time they do that around the boards, I never hit him. I can never even lay a body on him. Get that pass up. I mean, you're just going to sue me, basically. You sued me. If you had a pass a earlier, I would have had some speed. had some time to do something. I had to stand still for that one. Looking in front. Gustafson almost had it on quick. Better save quick. It's probably the save of the period for him. Need to do something here. Get that pass up. There we go. And I lose it instantly. Go off. Can't do anything here. And there's a power play now for LA. What just happened here? This game glitched out, bro. 116. And it's the end of the period. Yeah, the game literally just took a dive. Like, because it was a weird glitch. I was, I was trying. I simmed it as soon as there was a penalty. And it just got too confusing. Game, wait, the game's not over, is it? Oh, it is over. Wait, we, I guess we got the power play goal or something. Way to sustain pressure to break the tie. Could have been my goal, but it counts as well. Wait a minute. That was the weirdest glitch that possibly happened in this game. Like, why is this happening? There's so many glitches in these games, dude. I, I'm assuming we won. I didn't even know that we had... Yeah, I guess we had a simulation goal there at the end. I didn't even see that. How do you feel, Marcus? Setting a new record for most assists by a rookie with the LA Kings. Uh, I feel really good. I always consider myself a team player, and I hope this record reflects that philosophy. Um, yeah, that sounds like a very appro appropriate answer. Glad to see you're happy about it. Congratulations. Yep, see ya. But I'm assuming they're going to give me another one, because I think there was a goal. It was supposed to be a goal record here. Yeah, it's another one. They're gonna. It's funny how like the same guy is going to come up to me. Look, I didn't even leave the bench. And they're gonna all of a sudden say, "Yeah, you broke the rookie record. You broke the rookie record for, for assists, but you didn't break the goal record. So you know, you suck, right?" Here we are facing off against Tampa Bay. We're down two-one in this game, and the simulation goal was from Marcus Marcel. So I'm thinking I may have broken the the record based off simulation. We won't know for sure until I potentially get that next one, or if. I don't score at the end of the game. They'll let me know as well. Gabriel Landeskog, though, and Victor Hedman got in the other two goals. That's why they're leading in this game. Here's a chance. Little, okay. <laughs> I wanted to do a little sauce, give him some speed, and literally he just takes the puck. Like, yeah. Would you have to be in a perfect spit position for that? Or what? I just got labeled, but a nice little cycle. Sod. That was a nice move there. Sod again on the rebound. Both, but both our goalies are amazing right now. We're also around the same exact overall. 83 for Jonathan Quick and 82 for Pat, uh, Patterson. Taking this puck. Getting that puck up. Get, get it back to me. Nice. Saw set over. Can't get that. And then uh, Chara instantly takes that puck. Let's see where we're at here. Chara gets it up down for Stamkos. He has in front. Kucherov can't get it. Nice poke by Patterson. Nice little move again. Here comes Marcellus back at the point. Can we get something? In front, Kopitar, shot, save. And it was up high on Vasilevsky. And all the hits are going towards Tampa Bay right now. No shots recorded, just laying the body. Physical game. Tampa Bay is dominating this NHL just like they were, or just like they would in the actual NHL. They're a 44, 14, and 4 season right now. They can easily get 60 wins by the end. We're doing pretty good, like 35, uh, 20, and uh, something. I don't know. I forgot exactly what the record is. In front. Oh, try to get it on the far side. Down low. Couldn't get it. Nice pad reaction there. Vasilevsky. Just Tyler Johnson. Gets that up there for Patrick Maroon. Takes a hit. Looking in front. Johnson. You see how he received that? And not even looking at the puck. That's like the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Get that pass up. Can I go around him? Yeah. My guy didn't even do the move. Guy did no move. Zero deke. I hate when it does that delayed deke. Did you guys ever, you guys ever experienced when you're trying to do a deke and it waits a second? Like it's it, like it didn't quite get all the inputs right. Or it was uh, trying to register that and you wind up just getting hit because you can't do it. Or you're taking too long to deke. I'm back up. No, sir. Won't get that, but he, he gets it right back. Easy take. Nope. You can go all in you want. That's an easy save. That's a block. Also partially by me. 
that puck up. Stop losing it. This is stupid, bro. He's like, my, I'm not like, I tried calling for it before, and he winds up passing it just straight down the middle. If I'm along the boards, how do I guarantee he's not going to just pass it straight down the middle again? Along the boards, like, there's three ways of passing it. Sides, and then right down the middle. You should never pass it up anyway like that. Right lane, I just kick it straight out. 42 goal season right now. Brandon Saad is at that 34. And Ovenskin and Patrick Kane are one below me in the two and three spot. So, rookie and leading in these top leagues and leading in the top in, uh, top NHLers. There's a shot on net. Get that back. Yeah, just pass, man. Stop losing at the damn blue line, man. That's happening way too much now. You guys aren't passing to me. Nobody's passing to me. Am I not calling for it? I, ca I called for it, I think, three, four times in this game, and it went unanswered. Nobody's doing anything. No one's passing to me. I mean, I can't win if you guys ain't going to allow me to actually do something for you. You know, the team's got to respond to me. I'm not just... It's not a bad pass before, and then you're like, okay, you ain't going to ever... I You can't receive it now. 147. Last shift. We got to make it big. Can't go unanswered here. Get the pass off. Blast it. Rebound. Rebound again. He can't get it. Out in front. <laughs> Nothing. You guys are just guys right now. Ryan McDonough. Get that. Do something for me. Pass it. Do something more than just dangle and get hit. And they just come down with one rush. And, and then, yeah, it's, 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 nobody, no, nobody, nobody's going to pass. It's, nobody wants to pass. I call for it all the time. Nobody's passing. I mean, that's just never pass. I'm not, I mean, I got, might as well never call for it then. I mean, what, do you guys not trust me? I mean, my team plays literally a thousand right now. Call for it. We got, I'm, I'm not going off because you guys are freaking pathetic like that. Because you guys just keep losing it. Like, let's 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 do something more. I almost had it. And that's it. I mean, I'm off. All right, let's allow. Let's see what the AI does. A different line. Maybe they'll do better than the first line. We don't, we don't even have the first offensive pairing on either. Get it back up. Here's some Dustin Brown scores. Dustin Brown from the point with a nice screen in front. You tie the game. Now, there's somebody stepping up. A veteran, Dustin Brown. Finds a way to get that puck through. Look at that. He's wide open. Clear seam. Nice little screen there by Kempe. He goes top shelf. Glove side on Vasilevsky. Tie game. Perfect. That's all we needed. We're going overtime. I mean, that, that, that's how easy it is. You got to get the puck up and just, just take a shot. How come we were trying to dangle so much and, like, get on the inside of these guys? It's like, just take a shot. But that was, of course, like, the widest... That was the most wide-open player. He had nobody within 10 feet of him. You know, he, he just had so much room there. All right, we got to win this in, over, in OT right now. 3v3 hockey. See what we do. Nice win over to me. Can they get it over? Kopitar scores, and that's game winner. Five seconds in overtime, and we win the game. That's how you come back. Last, last minute. A shot by Dustin Brown from the point. Sends it to overtime. And then the first rush in overtime. A nice easy backhand feed over to Anze Kopitar. Game winner. We steal two points from this team. Yep, some more praise every time we win. Praise by Ray. Now let's take a look at some We got Drew Dowdy with another conversation. What is he gonna say now? You need to get more points, let's see. We're going to check out some flora and fauna on our day off. We're going to the botanical garden. Florida's humid enough. I don't want to be somewhere even more human. I mean, imagine, right? I'm never going to say no to that when we leave, Drew. Like, I'm, as if I'd say that. Certain plants uh, and animals doesn't excite me. I'd rather watch the Drew play. Rather watch the Drew play what? Like, on film? Oh, you're trying to, like, put praise on him. I ain't going to put any praise on him, dude. If you're gonna if you're gonna complain, then it's better you stay at the hotel anyway. <laughs> exactly. I have some catch. I have some TV to catch up on. 
Exactly. These these random ass conversations are so stupid. Like enough. Is there a way to just turn that off? Those stupid random conversations. Like the interviews with with, with the reporters is great. I love those because like it sets the tone for the next game. It kind of lets them know kind of how you play and how you respond to certain questions and what your personality is like off the ice. But like these stupid conversations where we're going out to places in town that we're in. Like we were in Florida. That's why you wanted to go to that botanical garden. It's like I don't I don't need those conversations. They don't immerse me at all in this game. Turn those off, but keep the other stuff on. That's even even the coaches' meetings. And if you want to talk about the game between the teammates, that's fine. Like putting up assists or getting blocked shots and stuff like that. Like that kind of adds a little bit more to work on. But these stupid conversations of going to these places during our, our off time is is it's stupid. It should not be like that. Here we are again, Drew Doughty. What do you know? <laughs> historical factory and then, like this conversation here you know i finally agreed to go with them and that ups it up even more than me rejecting them last time so it's like you don't you don't even care it doesn't add anything to it man okay finally back in the staples center facing off against chicago chicago right now is in the hunt for the playoffs they're about three games above 500 so they des they desperately need two points in this game honestly as far as us, as us, though, we also need to try to defend our top spot right now. As teams are kind of getting closer into the run for that top uh, for that top seed in the, in the Pacific. We're up 2-1. See what we can do here. Nice little pass. Can I get something on the outside? Can I try faking it? Looking right up for Kopitar. Scored. Nice pass. What a drive and a shot. Kopitar Mayor, did you see that in the back? The fan holding that up. There's another goal for Kopitar. How come I can't get conversations with Anze Kopitar and Brandon Zod? I would love to talk to them instead of Drew. Because these guys are actually producing on the ice. You doubt it. You're not doing crap, dude. You're letting these guys get by you and allowing easy goals going in. Like, I, I got to play your spot more than half the time in the, in the freaking defensive end. Get that up now for Drew Doughty. What can he do? Whole team's colliding on us, dude. You see this? Like, what type of... What type, what type of zone play was that? All three, even four. They scored. They came right back. Alexander and Elander, but we get a power play. As soon as I get off, the guy goes in. Bar down, it looked like. And I think that was Jonathan Quick. Here comes Joe Quinville. Right? I'm just kidding. Is that the son of Joe Quinville? Is he related to him? Almost had Kopitar there on a nice sick feed. I would think, right? Here comes Walmart. Walmart. He's back, right? Well, let's go over to Walmart. I forgot to pick up my uh, prescription. Got to pick up my toothpaste, you know? Honestly, he's one liter away from Walmart. Shoots one. Goes up wide. Almost had that angle. Todd, he has it. Seabrook, though, takes it. He's battling in the corner. There's two guys. The Strom comes up with it. Comes Col uh, Carpenter. Now up to Keith. They're trying to get a shorthanded goal here for some reason. And they get another shot. Really, we're trading shots, but there's no reason why they're able to keep that puck for that long. That should not be happening, guys. There's another hooking call. We're on the power play again. Got a minute 13 left here in the power play for that now. Got another opportunity to score here. And instead of passing it across, you do a backhand top of the slot. Floaty backhand. What type of shot was that shot? Get that off. Here's a shot. Todd, I need some uh, he needs uh, he needs some help here. I saw poke. Down in the corner again. And I I, I can't board pin him. And like Seabrook, they're like briefly holding me in the in the slot. Every chance they get, they hold me. Like, every single chance they get. And I, I, I couldn't even pass there either. Like, whoa. What is going on? Because Quinville is going to dump that around. Mata, get that up. Get that pass up. Back. Pass the puck. I'm literally trying to pass. Back to him. And he whiffs. He misses. We can't be missing those, man. If they come back and win this game, we had so many opportunities to put the puck in the back of the net. 
pass that up, Mata. Holy crap. Up. Up. Oh, no, I, I, I got sick lifted. Wait a minute. I was trying to reach. What did I just miss? I I just missed. It it, it kind of looked like somebody was attempting to stick with me. I thought that's why my stick went back. But there's no reason he can do that from behind me. My guy literally just missed the puck. And the other guy just gets it. Easy, right? Like how do you how do you miss that? Look at that chance. On in front. Why is Quick throwing the puck out every chance he gets? Holy what is going on in this game? Patrick Kane. I was, I was about to lay him out. And now Kane's just like puck ragging it now in his own zone instead of passing it. Typical Patrick Kane, right? Comes Kane again, though. He disses it across. Save. Nope. You ain't getting that. Bronco. What is he? Uh, I think that he's, he's, he's a rookie in this year, isn't he? Bronco for Kirby Doc. Doc was out this season. That sucks, too. I don't, I don't even remember what his reason is. Look, look at how we're just leaving, leaving guys wide open. Yeah, take, take that shot. That's a stupid shot. Action. Brocco, no, sir. Get that puck up. They never pass to me. Can we get a count? If, if, if there's somebody keeping track of all the times I've been tapping my stick and there's nothing. They're not passing to me one time. We could have kept the, the, the rush going there. It was a 2-1-2, two -one -two, but then it's a 2-1-1, -one -one, depending on where that other defenseman was. And he just... Yeah, let's throw it out. I call for it, and they're not passing it to me. Is it because... I have that red icon near the bench and I have to go out for a line change where you can't receive pucks. You can't get the puck because you're supposed to go out for a line change. Can we stop doing this little puck ragging in our, in our own zone? The puck up. Can't get it up. Murphy keeps it alive. Strong to bring it. Trying to get another chance. Can't. What is this? Dude, why, why is my guy not passing? There, there, there may be something wrong with the damn controller here because I'm literally pressing RT every time I get the puck to try to pass it. And you see me pulling it because I'm getting ready to pass it too. And it just doesn't pass. That's how they got that's how they caught me a couple times. Look, it's just nothing but Blackhawks on the on the dang score sheet right now. Here comes Sad. Easy pass, but he can't do anything with it. He's got no dangles. Look, I didn't even think I was gonna receive that pass. Get it up. Get it back. Kopitar. Easy feed. Backhand pass. No look. And I find Kopitar. That's another one. And now we're back up into that two goal lead. That's his hat trick. Hat trick for Anze Kopitar, the captain. Two of those three goals were from a feed from Marcus Marcellus. Look at that. I looked, I literally looked over my right shoulder and then backhand past that. I literally glanced and saw Kopitar. And then I, I was able to accurately get that pass over and right into his wheelhouse. Easy tap and goal there for him. Let's see what we do here. Drew Doughty. Here comes another struggle. And then we lose it. See, this this is this is the stupid to start part. Because if we lose this, look, why 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 did you do that exact same thing again? And now they get a shot because of it. Like, why, like they're gonna tell me that I'm I'm not playing good in the in my own defensive zone because of this. Three shots, four shots. They still have the puck because of two turnovers, two turnovers, two turnovers. The blanket. Knee landed with a shot. Easy glove save there. Jonathan Quick. 51.4. Oh, it's a two-goal game. The game's over. We won. Unless they get two goals here. Or three goals in 37 seconds. Remember that, Hawks? Imagine. I'm trying to repeat that. Look, what they did just put me off for 20 seconds. I'm back out. I'm back in the green. Look at that. I right, get that puck out. Here we go. Little windmill. <laughs> Got it through. Still fighting for it. No, no, Kane. Yeah, you ain't getting that. And he, Kane nudges me. Of all guys. All right, let me nudge you back, dude. Ugh. Like, eat it a little bit. All right, now they're pulling their goalie again. Look, I'm back in the back in the yellow. Look, I'm wide open. Who are you passing to? Wide open. Blast it down. Almost had that empty netter. Oh my God, Brandon Saad. We got we got to go back to the replay for that one. That was so stupid. Oh, coach, coach, coach. Are you looking at your defensive core? Are you even looking at them? Are you looking at your defensemen? How many turnovers did they get? 
Brandon Saha couldn't even pass me that puck. I'm the one that you're talking to. You allowed all these players to go into the locker room. And as soon as you see me, you hold me up in the hallway and saying, we're not exactly shutting them down by letting them create lots of chances. Coach, the team sucks. Look at this pass here by Brandon Saad. Look at this pass. Like, he doesn't even pass to me. I'm literally on the boards. The, the, the least I could do, if you pass it to me and this guy pursues me, I can at least do a little sauce out of the zone. At least get it out. Or even maybe Tenso will just shoot it, which I don't, I don't really want the icing, but you could at least sauce it out of the zone. Instead, uh, what type of pass were you making, dude? Were you trying to get it to Mata, I'm assuming? It was a direct pass. You tried hitting Anze Kopitar across, and you literally put it right into the wheelhouse of Kubalik, who almost sniped it on quick. Oh, but the coach is blaming me. The coach is blaming me. Good job, coach. You're looking at the right guys. Every time we win a game, these guys, J James, I, I thought, for some reason I thought his name was Jake this entire time. James Shabalski and whoever he's talking to always have nice things to say to me. Imagine we lose this game. Let's say the game, the score was 2-1 to one then or 3-1 or something, 3-2, whatever, right? And then we go back here and they, they would blame me for the poor defense. Same thing how the coach was during that challenge. They would talk about nothing but me, Marcus Marcellus, the rookie, the rookie creating all these turnovers or playing bad defensively. When you got guys, Drew Doughty, Brandon Saad, I don't know who else was there, Olimata, creating all these turnovers, trying to puck rag behind our net and then creating a turnover that way, not getting the puck out, having the, other, having the Hawks almost score a couple times on us. They, but they, they, they blame you. They blame the care. They blame the player. They blame the guy playing. Makes zero sense. Zero sense. The thing is, too, man. I, I mean, during that entire time, I actually literally did got guy got heated up there. Like, I'm pretty sure this mic peaked a couple times. So um, I apologize for the ears crunching or getting blasted on the anger towards EA Sports NHL 21. Honestly. Now, I understand this is this is superstar gameplay right here. This 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 is superstar difficulty. Superstar and six out of six for di for difficulty adjustment and everything else, right, that goes with it. This is this is the tough is the AI will be. The toughest the AI will be. There's nothing tougher. I mean so yeah, they're, they're gonna they're gonna do things that kinda get you mad from time to time. That's just how it is. But like honestly, if the way we play here now today, the, eventually these teams are gonna start converting on those turnover chances. Especially in the playoffs. And they're going to be even probably worse in the playoffs than they are now. Because it always seems like these AI uh, other teams, right? They always get like a boost in the playoffs. Because it's like, it's actual playoffs. It's win or go home, right? So they're going to probably be worse in the actual playoffs. And if we lose this, a series because of the stupidity of our defensemen. That's stupid. And the thing is, I'm literally trying to do everything I can. I can't even pass. I can't even call. Like, I can't even get them to pass to me. How many times, get a count, how many times did I call for the puck and they didn't get that pass over to me? How many times? They literally just don't pass to you. If they don't pass to you and do anything and they just lose the puck, I can't do anything about that. I can't do anything about that. That's so stupid. We got we to fix this. We got about a month ago. We're at 65 games played. We got to get up to 82. We're pretty close. Month left. We got to buckle down. We're leading at least in the, in the Pacific Division. So we got that going for us. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I mean, let me know any suggestions you guys can, can can give me to help me out with our team play and everything else and things that I can do either in the offensive zone or defensive zone to get my guys to play a little bit better because I need those tips. These things are not, this is not working for me, honestly. Uh, it, it, seemed to go, it seems to go pretty good from time to time, but then you get games like this where even when we win, it feels like a huge loss. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.